Chosen ones, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are. Chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video. Yes, chosen ones. Let's quickly do our smiling exercise and then we proceed with the video. Yes, chosen one. Five signs that God is with you, chosen ones. Yes, some of you chosen ones, you don't know that God is with you. But I tell you, these five signs, if it resonates with you, it clearly tells that God is with you. And when you know that God is with you, you will never worry again. You will never lament. You will not complain. You will not murmur because you know that the sun that shines up there will not hurt you during the day. And the moon and the stars that shines at night will not hurt you during the night. So it means God got you covered 24 seven. Divine powers, higher powers, higher forces are with you, fighting for you and protecting you. And these will comfort you. All right, great. So let's quickly hit to the five signs that God is with you. Oh yes, Emmanuel, God with us and indeed, God is with his chosen ones. One of the signs is that whenever something evil is meant for you, that evil always tends to your good. That is one sign. When evil meant to destroy you, tends to favor you, tends to your good, it is a sign that God is with you. It means God is always with you and turning whatever evil to your greatest favor and good. So whatever evil that you face, it is like a soil on which you thrive. Oh yes, whatever adversity that comes your way, you always see opportunity in it. Oh, that is it. That is a clear sign that God is with you. And this is how you know it is, it is in this way. You see, something will happen to you thinking, oh, this thing that has happened, people might think it is bad, but who knows? Before you realize, later you get to understand that, hmm, this thing happened to preserve me. Yes, to Keep me paused for a while for an extraordinary service for the glory of God, for the name of the Lord to be edified. Yes, it happened to protect you. That's it. Let me give a story so that that will help us to understand. You see, if you are a chosen one, things like this will happen. I believe this story is going to resonate with you. There was this farmer who has a horse. The horse was his everything. And one day, the horse ran away. And as the horse ran away, the neighbors went around and they were like, oh, farmer, your favorite horse has run away. Oh, this is bad. This is evil. The farmer, knowing that God is with him, did not complain, lament, mama. All that he said is, hmm, maybe. So, as the horse ran away, the next day, when the horse was coming back, the horse did not come back alone. The horse came back with four additional horses with it. So now the farmer has five horses. The neighbors came around again and they were like, oh, farmer, you are fortunate, you are lucky. Look at you, you have five horses now. Oh, this is good, this is nice, this is great. The wise farmer, who knows that the Spirit of God is with him. Look at them and said, hmm, maybe. Yes. So, the farmer has one boy, one son. This child tried to um, play with one of the horses. And then a flick accident happened. And he got his leg broken. The neighbors again came and they were like, oh, farmer, oh, look at the, what the horse has done to, to, your, to your child, to your only child. This is bad. This is evil. The farmer again looked at them and said, hmm, maybe. 
The next day, the military came around looking for young boys in the neighborhood, in the community, to send them to the war front. They took all their, the neighbors, their boys, away, and they did not come back again. Yes, but what happened? The farmer's son who got his leg broken was left at home. He wasn't sent to the war front. Yes, what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is that whatever we are going through, who knows? Good, bad, evil, good, who knows? It is for your good. And when you study your life, you realize that when something bad happens and you don't focus on the bad, before you realize something good comes out of it. Just like the farmer, he has only one horse. That horse ran away. Thinking, oh, it is bad thing. It is adversity because the, the, the horse was his everything. Later, the horse came back, uh, four additional horses, making five. All right? You see, something has to happen to preserve. Look at the farmer's child. He was being preserved. Right? So, that is the life of chosen one. Always, whatever is happening in your life, is all working together for your good that is confirmation for the from the bed right there right so if this sign resonates with you it means god is with you i'm telling you just like joseph in the bible his brothers thought they were doing him evil but what happened god turns all such evil into his highest good oh yes when they pushed him away sold him into slavery they were rather pushing him into his destiny. They thought they were doing evil. Yes. And when Potiphar's wife tempted him and lied about him and he was being put in the prison. Right. It was a good thing because when Joseph went to the prison, because he is a dreamer, his presence alone in the prison makes the others to also start dreaming as well. Oh, yes. So, if you are a chosen one, you will realize that all things keep working together for your good. And that is a sign with all the apostles of old. Daniel, what the, the, the enemy meant to harm Daniel, has been turned to his good. Yes, has been turned to glorify God. So, if your life is, 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 is in that way, I'm telling you, it is a big sign that God is with you. You always bounce back. What is meant to kill you, what is meant to harm you, what is meant to destroy you, you always bounce back out of it, right? It means God is with you. I'm telling you. The second sign is that you find yourself being prayed for in a dream or anointed or singing worship, singing praises. You find yourself, I mean, meeting great men of God in your dreams, having an encounter with great men of God in your dream, all right, praying for you or um, you associating with them, moving with. It is a sign that God is with you. I'm telling you, it is a sign, okay? When you are being shaked by a great man of God and the anointing falls on you, you are being anointed. Okay, or anointing from heaven, keep pouring on your head. Or a great man of God, a renowned man of God, a famous man of God, is being pour, is pouring, anointing oil on you, anointing you, all right, or giving you, you receive Bible, the scripture, or you receive a spiritual sword in your dream. It is a sign that God is with you. I'm telling you, chosen one, right? So remember that God loves you. God is with you. The third sign is when in pressure and tension time, you are at peace with yourself. Oh, yes. Those that are not chosen, when there is pressure and tension, they are not at peace with themselves. Yes. When there is pressure and tension, it makes them to be unaware of their faith. And that leads them into more evil. But if you are a chosen one and God is with you, in times of pressure and tension, you will be mindful of your faith. You will be mindful of your faith in everything, in good times, in bad times. 
When there is money in the pocket, when there is no money in the pocket, when there is food on the table, when there is no food on the table. You, 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 you have this contentment. No matter what come may, you understand that all things are working together for your good. And you are at peace. You are conscious. You are mindful of your faith in whatever adversity that you're facing, in whatever, whatever tribulation, in whatever, you know, hardship that you are going through. You are mindful of your faith in God. I'm telling you, it means God is with you. Because among all graces, it is faith that pleases God the most. Oh, yes. The fourth sign is when you find yourself having the fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And what are the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Some of the fruit of the Holy Spirit are um, kindness or generosity, humility, you are very humble. You are meek. All right. You show mercy. All right. You are a loving person. Remember where there is love, there is forgiveness. So you don't harbor offense. You don't hold grudges. You always forgive people, no matter what they did to you. Either you forgive them and you will not allow yourself. You learn your lessons and you will not allow yourself to... Um, to be manipulated or whatever that they did to you, you will not allow yourself that such things should be done to you again. But you forgiving them in your heart. You 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 allow forgiveness. All right. You 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 very honest. You are a truthful person. You have the spirit of um, self control. You have self control. All right. It is a sign that God is with you. Yes. Be, the people that they don't know God or God is not with them, they don't have this fruit of the Spirit. Oh, yes. But if you have this fruit of the Spirit, you have the fear of God inside of you. It is a sign that God is with you. Yes, when God is with you, you'll be at peace with yourself. You have peace of heart and you have peace of, of mind. I'm telling you, no matter what. All right. So that is a sign that God is with you. Or people tell you, people, this can be confirmed by people. People will tell you, oh, I like, I like how kind you are. I like how humble you are. Anytime I'm around you, you know, I'm at peace, right? I'm at peace. I feel great when I'm with you. I feel great when I'm talking to you. I feel great when I'm around you, all right? That tells that you, you, you have the embodiment of God. The spirit of God is with you. God is with you. God is inside of you. Right? Great. So that is a sign. So shake not. Right? Shake not. Keep pushing. You will succeed in whatever you're doing. Right? Remember, where there is a will, there is a way. Right? The fifth sign is um, when you find yourself always waking up between 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Right? Always you find yourself waking up 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. or 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. All right? It is a sign. Yes, God is with you. The Spirit of God is with you. All right? And the Spirit of God is the one that has waken you up at that, at that time. The Spirit of God has chosen you at that time to pray, to meditate, to have some quiet time with God. All right? To, to, to command your day in advance so that it will be well with you because scripture says at midnight the enemy came to sow weeds weeds among the wheat so it is at midnight when everybody is sleeping that the enemy comes to do evil to come and steal to kill and to destroy to come and plant sicknesses disease and afflict people but when you Find yourself that you always wake up at this point in time. It means God has chosen you. It means the Spirit of God is with you. So God has waken you up at that point in time so that you can pray, all right, to combat, to overcome whatever evil the enemy is planning against you. Oh, yes. It could be the enemy has evil intention against you. 
So God will wake you up. If you're not asleep, the enemy cannot harm you. The enemy is always afraid of these chosen ones that wakes up between this time and they pray. Because if you come to destroy me, kill me, harm me, and I'm awake, you cannot carry on with your mission. Oh yes, your mission will be aborted. That's it. So that is a sign that God is with you. I'm telling you, God loves you and God is with you. Stay true to God and you will always win. Remember, you are going to win. You will definitely win. You are a winner. The winning is coming. Winning moment is coming. So don't worry about the when. Just keep going about your divine duties. Keep doing your best. Pray as if everything depends on God and work hard as if all depends on you. Go the extra mile. Do your best always and all the time and allow God to mark your hard work, what you are doing. You will prosper. You will succeed. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.